Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today we work on a Steam multiplayer game. We will go through friend lists, avatars, joining sessions, inviting to sessions, creating parties, chat and all the other stuff that makes a good game. So open up your explorer and type in advanced session plugin which um, adds more functionality to our blueprints. So first check here your version and it's uh, best to be on the latest version and then if you have the version um, go here to the downloads and yeah, just download here the 4.15.3 and click here on download and once you did this so I go here into my downloads folder and I think this is mine here just extract it and open this up. So yeah, you have the advanced sessions, and we will install this now on the uh, on the engine level. So for this, we need to go to this path. So um, open another explorer window and go ahead to your Epic Games folder, your four point fifteen folder, and there into engine and into plugins. So here we just pull in the advanced sessions and yeah, because I have it already installed, just want to override it here. And the next step is just to go to another tab and Google Unreal Engine Steam um, Online Subsystem. Click here on the docs website and here we got our script any configuration. So copy this all over here. We'll need this now when we create our new project. So open up your browser or Epic Games browser and create a new project. So I will just do a first person project I think. Call it Steam Tutorial. So in here Go on to file, um, go to the plugins, no it's under edit, under plugins and here under uh, yeah, build in, so there are all plugins. You can see here your advanced sessions which is if you don't want to use Steam and if you want uh, Steam specific uh, sessions you can just enable this one. And here are also the normal, normal sessions. So, um, yeah, here's everything you can enable. So, um, yeah, let's actually not restart here, just close this up and let's bring up the content folder and let's get into the config folder and here into the default engine. And here now we can uh, paste our script online subsystem, which we um, copied later. and. Uh, which we already copied here from here and then just save this one and now we can open this up and see if the plugins uh, already work with this project. So yeah, this is the message I get often and to fix this we just go into the project which has Steam sessions enabled and we do here a new folder called plugin and into this plugin folder to pull in the advanced sessions. Then we can test this. And I got it again. I think I made a mistake here. Let's see, yeah, plugins is the name, not plugin. So let's open this now up again. <clears throat> and yeah, it opens up the project. And we can go, go now into the Blueprints folder and check if uh, we can access here the advanced sessions. So we go here under Online and here we have our advanced Blueprint. So now we can work with this.
So let's start with our menu. So go to file and create a new level and we will use this empty level here. And we will save this level as uh, into a new folder. So create here a new folder called maps. And this will be our main menu map. So here we are. And at this level we have some world settings. So this is basic, you need to know. Every level has a basic game mode settings. So you can change them uh, based on the level we are in. So create a new uh, game mode for this main menu, which will be our main menu, GM. Let me just make this caps here. And then we need also a default pawn. So let's create a blueprint and a character, which will be our um, main menu pawn like this and we will change them here so get here the main menu pawn and of course we also want to have here a new folder called umg then this one we want to create a user interface called main menu like this and next up we go into our main menu pawn which will be spawned when we begin play and on begin play we want to create a widget so we want here our main menu to be shown and for later references we will promote this also to a variable which will be main menu ref for example and to actually get this work we need to add the viewport and before we can play we need to restart uh, the project because if we are setting this um, game mode and the spawn, uh, it always needs a restart. So we are back in our project and it's opened up again the first person example map. To change this, we go to project settings and under maps and modes, we can select now our main map to show as startup map. And then we can just open this up. And now if we hit play, can't see anything because our QMG widget has no yeah, actually buttons or something, but we can just test this like this. So yeah, it's shown correctly. So delete this button. Um, one thing is, if we click here, our mouse is uh, away. And to fix actually this, we go into our main menu pawn. And after we created the widget, we want to set input mode to game and UI. And we want to get the player controller, which is the target of this one, the current player. The widget will be our main menu, like this. And we want, don't want to hide, and then, ah, oh, sorry, this one here, and then we want to set the show mouse button, like this, and we click here hit. And now if we play, uh, we can hit here and the mouse does, does appear. So yeah, that's it for this part. Let's actually, um, work on the Steam integration of our own name first. So get here user interface and we call this one player info for example, like this. We open this up and here we want to make it custom and let's make the width something like 800 and the height can be 100. And yeah, let's work here with the horizontal box. So delete the canvas panel and bring in the horizontal box. And inside the horizontal box, we want a button. So we can press on our name with text included. And we want an image so we can see our avatar. But let's bring the image in front of this. And let's say this will align to the right and we fill this and the image will also align to the right. But let's make this automatically here. So like this is auto and this image will be filled. Yeah, like this. And now we can set the size here. I think it will be better if we just wrap this with a size box. So we have here a height of 100 because this is our widget height. And let's make the width also 100. And now for the text, if we 
type in here a bigger text, it automatically um, yeah, sets the size of the box. So this is where our character goes. So let's bring this in into our main menu. Under uh, user created, we can grab in the player info. And yeah, 800 is a little. Let's just stretch this here. And, or better like this. And the size should be 800. Like this. And the position here should be null. And here on alignment, we press 1. So it's perfectly aligned here on this side. Let's give him a 15 here and compile and save. So the next step now would be um, to set this text here. Uh, or let's actually get here the style of the button and um, delete the tint here and copy this f uh, yeah, values and paste them into the hover and to the pressed like this. And back into the main menu, um, we want to check on event construct with the first function of our advanced um, subsystem or advanced plugin. Uh, we want to get the function has online subsystem and we get here Steam because this is a current thing. Then we get an if here and if this one is true. Um, we want to do something and if it's false we want to type in into the text so text here oh sorry what should, what is the here we need to make it a variable text block 47 and we get text block 47 oh first compile here of course then this one is blue and then we want to set the text um to can't connect to Steam. Like this. Can test this out. And here we have can't connect to Steam because I have Steam offline. And to actually test Steam all the time, we need to play in standalone game because this uh, yeah, normal viewport does not support uh, the Steam subsystem. So we test this also now. So here also can't connect to Steam. So if I now open up my Steam, it should show nothing because then it should go uh, to true and it should show this default text. So let's actually test this. So we open up here our Steam window like this but it shows can't connect to Steam. So something did not work correct because we also can't join our Steam uh, layout here. So let me look into this. And the one thing I forgot here was under plugins, under online platform, the subsystem, um, yeah, platform uh, was not enabled. So let's enable this. And let's restart the project again. So back in our project, let's restore the assets we had before. And let's just, let's, uh, just start the game now. Yeah, we are connected to Steam, that's true, and here is the Steam button. And now if I go to Steam, you can see that I'm in Spacewar, the test uh, game from Steam, and yeah, everything is working correctly. So yeah, let's just grab here the windows and plug them into the normal tab here. And under our main menu now, if we're here, we want to... Um, set the actual text again. We get also these functions here. But for the in text, we get the player controller and we get also the, um, the player name. So just get player 
name this one also from the advanced sessions and we just plug this in and now you can see if I connect it should show my name like this. And the last thing will be in this tutorial to accessing the avatar. So for this we grab the get player controller and we get the unique net ID which is also advanced session plugin function. And from this one we get Steam friend avatar. Like this. Um and we can get here the steam avatar small and we want to grab here the player info again and we get the image zero and then we want to set a brush and we want to make brush from texture texture will be here the image um, I think we go here with 100 to 100 and we can click here on success so um, let's test this and here is the image of my steam character so here you got it so it's the same and maybe we can make this large here so it's a better quality um, oh yeah, first, of course, close the game and retry this, like this, and play. And here we go, not the avatar, so maybe it was too large, or large is bugged, let's see, <laughs> with medium should be working. this is working. So yeah, we will stuck with this. And in the next video we will make here an on click and then we will show a friend list where we can see which friends are online. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions just ask them below and yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye!